Hi, it's Chris the Toy Guy from TimeToPlayMag.com and I'm here with Jen. Hi. Yay! And we're trying out a new game called John Vandergriff's Flick Your Chip. It's from Try Try a Game. It's for eight plus. You can play with up to eight players playing it, but we're only us two. So here's the idea. The object is you have to get to one of the winner spaces at either end of the board. There's a red winner and a green winner, but what you see is there's a plus sign or a minus sign because that's reflected on either side of the chip. Now depending on which side your chip is, is the direction you're going to go. So everybody starts at 50, so you have sort of a, an intermediate kind of thing, and then we're both going to flip our chips. We both got a minus, so yeah. we're both going to be going in this direction. So go ahead and pick a card. Okay. Let's see. And now you flick have to your flick chip. your chip. Okay. So you get to go in the same direction. Now I have to do the same thing because I'm going to flip my chip and I get to go in the same direction. That's my turn to pick a card and I can have roll the dice or move seven. So I'm going to move seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you have a choice to roll the dice or move seven. I'm going to roll the dice. Okay, go ahead. And you can move five. Okay. So now what happens is there are lots of different twists and turns. You can uh, you you end up having to flip your chip and then go back the other way. There's also some weird things that happen. So you have to pick your, the number of letters in a one word description of the person to your left. And I would say fabulous, which would get me to go eight spaces. Or if then when uh, when Jen got to do it, she could make she could have like dope, yeah. and then it could then I'd only get to move four. So I don't really like that. There's too many different games involved in here. There's too many different things you have to do. Flick your chip, move based on your token color, and then things based on the current hour. It's a very long game. It takes a. It's, a it's very confusing. We thought the board was confusing to look at, and you know they decided designed it for kids eight and up. But I don't think that a lot of people are going to really get into the social interaction. The thing about a good board game, it has to be very very simple to do. And once you're done with it, you don't want to be exhausted. You want to say, hey, let's play again. So uh, we're not sure that this is. A great game for, for everybody, but definitely one for uh, kids who have a lot of patience and who are willing to take the, uh, the back and forth of all of these different things. Moving this way, the number of letters in the first name of someone you have kissed. Well, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should reveal that. Right. right. My trip behind the Iron Curtain means I get to move 15. No. <laughs> Okay, but seriously, very confusing game, too much going on. We think a simpler game is probably going to be better. You want to be able to open up the box and play right away. So that's it for more on this game, including what it costs and where to get it. Come visit us anytime at timetoplaymag.com, your number one source for all things play. Oh. Plus, now you have to go back the other way. <sighs>